Hi, everybody. It's a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, I'd like to talk about the Dantian. And this is something that people have asked me over the years, like, hey, Rick, how come you don't talk much about the Dantian? And uh, I, I don't. And the reason why it, it occurred, just occurred to me, like, it's like, I really didn't feel like I had much to say on, on the uh, on the matter that hadn't been said before. And there's also this huge swirling mass of confusion on the subject. And, uh, and I felt like until I was ready to actually get into it, I didn't want to, you know, do more than just a cursory reference to like, oh yeah, think you're cheating your Dantian or, you know, feel your Dantian or whatever. So the, uh, uh, but today we are going to change that. We're going to talk in depth about the Dantian. Not only that, but three Dantians. So we're going to talk about the three Dantians. And uh, uh, so, first of all, an explanation of what the term itself means. It uh, the Ken Cohen says that it uh, Don means elixir, D A N, and Tian means a uh, field, like as in a farmer's field. So it's an elixir field. That is. A uh, the the field where you nurture and grow the elixir, which is the elixir of of good health and long life and your your vitality. So in other ways of calling it is like the the sea of of energy. That's another expression for the Dantian, and it's basically considered to be a um, a place where there's a a heightened level of energy storage, and I'm going to go back to that that term in, in a in a minute here. But uh, uh, in, in the body, and one of the points that uh, Ken Cohen made was, and and something I agree is that every part of your body is a dantian. Every every cell in your body is a is potentially a dantian. That is, it is a storage, an energy storage. Uh, unit and uh, there is a, uh, a a strong electrical field that it marks the difference between the uh, the electric charge inside the cell and just outside the cell and there's actually it's actually a a, a fairly strong electric field which since the cells are so small we don't even notice that but Whenever you, if you were to expand it, you get it so that, and one thing I read said that it'd be similar to being near a, uh, a, a large uh, uh, electric power line and that, that, that field that comes off of that. And that's, that's what uh, we, we get just on, on each cell. But the fact that they're so tiny that we don't even notice it. And also they kind of cancel each other out. Whereas you get an animal like, say, an electric eel, which since they're in the water, they don't have to spend a lot of energy moving around. Uh, they can kind of just float along. So they they have adapted to get their cells so they can line them all up and get them highly coherent so that they can zap, you know, like uh, a significant electric charge. I think like 100 volts or something like that, you know, from an electric eel, which is, you know, it's a significant zap there. So it, uh, every cell is a, an energy storage about, storage unit, every organ. So there's this, you know, this, this is something that is part of what we are. And it's storage in the sense that like a, a capacitor is, is a storage an electric, uh, like in a refrigerator or in the old TV sets, they'd have a capacitor, which you'd, it would run the energy, the, uh, the energy through a whole bunch of, uh, through a bunch of hoops. And, uh, and so it would hang around a longer time than, uh, than the energy was just going through the wires. And so there was there to, to be able to give a, a quick boost to, to the, uh, to the, the energy in like say in the refrigerator to start up the compressor very quickly without having to rev it up. And so we have the energy that accumulates in our cells and in our organs and in these Dantians is energy that's being circulated. It just means that it's going through 
complex patterns and we are energy storage devices in that in that respect. So a Dantian is, you know, there are more efficient Dantians or, and, and ones that are a little more in the, uh, the realm of uh, kind of that, that borderline between physical and spiritual, energetic kind of thing. So what, what I would call the substantial and the insubstantial aspects of it. So uh, the substantial part would be like the body part that is doing this energy storage. The insubstantial would be the energy and um, the quality of the energy, the quality and the amount of energy that is associated with that. So when I think about the substantial and the insubstantial, if you think of, say, music. So music is, there is a substantial part, which is that there's vibrations in the air, which are being picked up by your ears and are being translated by your brain to create a harmonious or enharmonious effect. The, so there's this, this something, there's something there that is a, a violin is being, being bowed, a flute is being played, whatever. Those vibrations are being picked up. So that is the substantial part of the, uh, of, of, of the music. But that's not what we think of when we think about music. We think about the, the psycho-spiritual effects that occur whenever we get, we hear these sounds, how that affects us and how we make sense of, the, uh, of those, those vibrations. So we have a, a substantial and insubstantial part. Same thing with the Dantian. You know, we have these body parts these locations, and then we have the quality of the energy that comes uh, uh, comes through that. So the three Dantians that are generally associated with the lower Dantian, which is the area down in your lower belly, and the way I learned it was, you know, that there was a point there. There's about three inches or three finger widths below my navel, and that was the Dantian. And, and and I stumbled around with that for years. I remember asking a Chinese doctor, like, you know, I can't find my Dantian. It, I, I feel this point here, but I don't, I don't get it. I, it's not, not creating an effect for me that, that I can recognize. And he said, you're, you're like someone who is walking on a beach and can't find the ocean. And... <laughs> I said, okay, uh, that, but that was, you know, kind of where I was at. It's like, he, he said, no, it's right there. You got to, got to pay attention to it. And part of it is coming to a different understanding of it. And that was really helpful to me whenever uh, Yang Fukui uh, explained it. He said, it's not a point. It is the whole of your lower abdomen. It's that whole lower abdomen. That 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 whole section that includes all your viscera in your uh, in your gut, and yes, you can find the center of that and point to that and call that the dantian if you like, and a lot of people do. But there's this this thing that that point on the surface of the skin is what Young Jung Ming calls the false dantian, and he said you have to go to the true dantian, which is there in the center there of the uh, of, of your lower abdomen. So this lower abdomen is where we have, um, it's associated with the Jing, that is your, your essence, the kind of the genetic material that you inherit as well as the, the you know, this vital force that, that kind of propels this urge to, to live, to survive. And that uh, it's also associated with sexual energy, and so it uh, that's it. this this area in the in the lower abdomen is is um, very much associated with water, and so the way I, I look at it now is like I use the diaphragm as a as the the dividing line, so the Everything from below the diaphragm, that includes the intestines, the, the stomach, the spleen, the pancreas, the liver, everything 
below the diaphragm is part of this lower Don TM. And you can find the center point, but if you can get in communication with this part of your body, then you're uh, you're starting to create this awareness of a quality of energy that is, first of all, it's a very watery kind of kind of energy, but it's that water is the 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 source, the 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 ground where the where it uh, we're being nourished by that by that uh, by that area. It's also where our second brain is. So we have this is in the in the in the gut we have this uh, uh, what we call a gut feeling that that's that intelligence that's there and that ninety five percent of the serotonin, which is a neurotransmitter that is in the body is in is in the gut. And so this is has a, a huge effect on your state of well-being, your sense of of contentment and and uh, uh, so your, yeah, your well-being. So this 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 lower dantian is this area that includes all these things. So it's more watery. It's more yin. So then we move to the middle dantian. And that's in the chest area. And usually they pinpointed at, at the heart, but sometimes people point at as the solar plexus. Sometimes it's at the, uh, uh, sometimes they say the navel. It's, it, it, it dances around depending on the, the Chinese Qigong or, or uh, energy uh, uh, cultivation system that you are ascribing to. And they're all right. And and I, I'm I'm cool with that. I just I like to broaden it and say, okay, it's the whole chest. It's everything from the diaphragm up to your. Uh, there's another diaphragm up here at the at the top of your chest. So everything in that this this section here is your middle dantian, and you can focus and you say, okay, well the heart is the center of that and i have no problem with that because the heart is um as a it's an oscillating system that means it's you know it's pumping back and forth the blood goes in the blood goes out you know it's going it's, it's doing that and as such it generates the largest electrical field of of all the organs it's uh and so there's a uh, so it is the energy that's being created there is more active it's more young so we have this associated with fire and in chinese medicine your heart is is governed by fire and so this uh there is there's a relationship there so we have the watery swampy gut we have the fiery furnace of the boiler room which is the lungs and the uh and the heart are kind of churning out this 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 energy this is where you know, we convert the energy, the uh, food and and uh, um, air and stuff, and we kind of create more more power, and uh, that is circulated throughout the whole system. So the third dantian is ordinarily described as the third eye. It's like the right there. It's like the you know this point on the you know, between your eyebrows, and that is, you know, is usually, uh, that's like the, the third Don Tien. But Yang Jing Ming said something, she says that the whole brain is the, is the upper Don Tien. And, and I like that. So that kind of fits in with the gut, with the chest, and that we have the whole brain is now the upper Don Tien. And this is an energy storage device, and it's gobbling up about twenty percent of your resources on a uh, moment by moment basis. Even while you're sleeping, your brain is 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 chewing up about twenty percent of of your body's resources. So uh, it's a, a very strong um, uh, uh, dantian. It's also has it's also an oscillating system, 
and it generates a field that is, I think, second to the heart in terms of its the electrical field that gets produced by your brain. And, you know, if you ever had a EEG or something like that, you can see, you know, the electrical activity that is occurring there on a regular basis. So we got these three Dantians and totally arbitrary, but this is the way I piece, I'm piecing this together, which I find to be very useful to think about that because particularly when we get to the third Dantian, we can change the relationship to that by getting more efficient in our delivery system to get the energy to enter into the uh, into the brain and to actually go to the center of the brain which is the ni wan gong which is the the j uh, the mud pill palace and so the mud pill was a nickname for the uh, pineal gland and so in the mud pill palace you've got the the pineal gland you've got the the pituitary gland which governs your endocrine system and then you have the hypothalamus which is the part of the nervous system which interfaces with the endocrine system so it gives and takes information there's this it's the the nexus point where where the emotional content from the limbic system comes out and and affects your emotion or your your endocrines your endocrines come in and affect your your emotions and your state of mind etc so this stuff so in this whenever you get enough energy into the into this area so you're there between the two hemispheres of the brain there is what's called the spiritual valley and this is whenever this is where the you'll, you'll find the niwan gong and so when you when you bring the energy into that and you activate both hemispheres of the brain i've talked before a lot about uh, hemispheric synchronization and this is when you get both hemispheres of the brain that are resonating with each other which then creates a wholeness a whole brain coherence that takes you to a different state of being that takes you to a place where you're activating uh, more of your resources. And this is where, you know, in the Taoist tradition, they said that's where your spirit resides. So whenever you elevate, you raise your spirit, you're doing two things. One is raising it by amplifying the spirit. That is, you're, you're going, you know, you're increasing your vitality, increasing your enthusiasm. So you're raising your spirit that way. But the other way you're raising your spirit is by location, where if you if your spirit is dispersed, it's fragmented, you're all over the place, your attention is all over the place, then you're not functioning at your optimum. And you could be unhappy as well as ill as a result of that. But by raising the spirit, that is, you're, you're elevating the spirit to the, this, the, the spiritual valley, to the Niwan Gong, then you, you, um, you get uh, this, this heightened state of, uh, of awareness as well as efficiency. You're, and as it then opens the third eye, and there, there's a whole lot of different stories about that. But in the simplest terms, what it says is, in my term, in my thinking, is you're opening the eye of spirit. And that is you're accessing resources that take you beyond your rational mind, your rational thinking mind, and your five senses. You're able to have extra sensory perception and not like, lifting an ashtray from across the room, but just being able to perceive in ways that are beyond the five senses and beyond your logical mind. 
And that is what we're cultivating in Taiji Chuan. And in a lot of what we're doing here is cultivating this ability to, to open the eye of spirit and integrate that with the rest of the body. So these three Dantians are another story that we can use to, to integrate body, mind, and spirit. We have the, the Jing of the, of the lower Dantian, the Qi of the, of the middle Dantian, and the Shen or spirit of the, of the upper Dantian. And so if you think of it in those ways, you can, we're getting those three together and also think of it body, mind, spirit, getting those together. And so we get, we, by organizing that, we get into a super conscious state and there's a higher, a higher efficiency that uh, occurs in your thinking and in your, and your, your, your doing. And so uh, uh, we elevate the, the spirit, we raise the spirit by reaching with the crown of the head, where my little, my little bun there is, and uh, reaching with the crown of the head, tuck in the chin. And so opening the jade pillow gate, and this allows the energy to come up the spine and enter into the Ni Wan Gong. So that's the uh, that's the the nickel version on the uh, on the the three Dantians. I'd like to see if anybody has any questions or thoughts before we go. Yeah, Scott. So I'm assuming um, there's a correlation between central equilibrium and lining up your three Dantians. Yes. 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 And it's something I don't uh, I don't dwell on for the reasons I gave. I just I I just don't want to confuse things anymore than I have to. But they it they support each other. The two 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 different stories that that get things you know get things working together. Yes, I'm Lynn. No, okay. It's not yet formulated in my head. I'm still thinking. Okay. Okay, so, but does, does that all make sense? Does that uh, uh, sound uh, sound sound reasonable? Cool. Yeah, Richard. Um, I'm just uh, sort of trying to visualize the three centers, and uh, it, is the center of the center an important spot? I think so. And to the so, and so to the center of the upper dantian is is what the Niwan Gong, right? So that that's important, right? The you know the center of the of the the middle Dantian is the heart. So that's kind of important. And the center of the lower Dantian, that's the we don't have a specific location for that. We just kind of have to have to feel that. And I think that you know since it is a uh, it's a dark and murky place in there, you know, that's appropriate. So we're, we have to just kind of feel our way and then we will know it whenever we get a, uh, we get a response from the, uh, from, uh, from the body mind. It's it, there will be a level of, of coherence. And I think for me, there is that a, a response. I'd say the, you could say the serotonin, you know, if you're thinking, uh, thinking chemically, you can say the serotonin kicks in and you get that, ah, yes, that feels good. You know, whenever you find that, that, that sweet spot. And uh, you have to remember too that, that over half of the cells of your body are non-human. So it, uh, um, I think, you know, the estimate is generally, it averages around, 43% of your body cells are, are human cells. And the, uh, all the other colonists that are floating around in there, you know, are, have a vast uh, assortment of DNA that is, you know, many, many, many times uh, more varied than, than human DNA. And 
we want to get them to play nice with each other and with us so that we want to keep peace in the realm. And to the extent that we ah, we feel into that Dantian, that lower Dantian, and we we get the serotonin working there, we get that that happy feeling, <clears throat> then we get a response in our gut that says that, you know, everything's peaceful in the kingdom. So, uh, and I think, you know, those cells, I mean, there's, you know, like, you know, 35 trillion, I think, of them, something like that, that uh, of these non-human cells that are, that are in your body. It's, it's like, <laughs> it's a lot, you know? So uh, it's like, okay, but we're, we're not, <laughs> we're not a, a homogenous entity. You know, a, we're, we are a mishmash of critters that, uh, you know, are, uh, they're just trying to learn to play nice with each other. And Taiji Tran, I think, helps us with that. I think that part of our, the health benefits that we get from it comes from the fact that we are creating a sense of peace, order, safety for all our little, little buddies in there. And uh, so anyway, that, uh, I, I find it amusing to, to think about it. I mean, half of your half of your body not being human. It's like, it's like, so it's a that's kind of cool. So anyway, so uh, if no one has any further ideas, let's uh, let's let's do something with this, shall we? So let's start off by getting into a, um, I think it's probably good right here. So, um, so let's get into a, uh, get our three pillars happening. And you can do a sitting down too, or Peter lying down. And uh, uh, the, uh, the same idea there, this standing helps to amplify the chi a lot. So want to, uh, uh, have that as our our foundation, but we can take it and riff on it from there. So let's get into the uh, feel of your uh, start off with the weight. You feel the the balls of your feet. Get your feel your centering your your body's mass over the balls of your feet. Reach up with the crown of your head and tuck in the chin. So you're opening the jade pillow gate. So we're starting off right away, connecting up the body with the earth energy and allowing that energy to go up through the body, through along the spine, through the neck, into the brain. And immediately creating a state of, of wholeness. So, and then release your hip joints, get that so you're nice and sung, you're sitting down into your feet, knees are unlocked, but not bent too much, just, just barely unlocked, tuck in the chin, reach with the elbows and open the shoulder joints, open the chest, open the shoulders, Relax your lower back and allow your sacrum to drop. Point your index fingers. Feel the energetic coherence throughout the whole body mind. Now go into your heels, maintaining your center of equilibrium. Still want to keep the chin tucked, reaching with the 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 crown. All right, so let's just get the chi moving a little bit. We're going to sink into the balls of the feet and then reach with the wrists. Relax your shoulders, relax your elbows. 
Relax your fingers, let them hang. But come up very slowly and then reach out with your fingers. Feel your fingernails. Feel open between your shoulder blades. Reach with your elbows. Extend. Open your chest, your shoulders. And just feel that energetic connection throughout your whole body mind. Feel the young expansion. And then sink into your heels. Reach down with your elbows. Bend the wrists. And feel that yin sinking down, down, down into the earth. Releasing. And relax and just feel into that. Feel the yin of releasing down. Very soon. Again, feel your balls, your feet. And reach with your wrists. Relax your arms, your shoulders. Fingers are relaxed, hanging. And reach with your fingers. Reach with your elbows. Open your back, your shoulder blades. Reach with the crown of your head. Tuck in the chin. Feel that yawn expansion. And then sink into your heels, elbows down. And down, yin, 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 sink, sung. And now bring your hands over your lower abdomen. Put your, like, wrap around your thumb around your navel and feel your hand below that. So you can feel your belly. Sink into your heels. Feel your hands with your belly. Feel your belly with your hands. Everything below your diaphragm is part of this lower dantian. At least as the, that's a story I'm telling right now. There'll be others who have different stories, but this is an effective way of, of separating these. As you inhale, feel your diaphragm, which is right here at the base of your rib cage right there at the bottom of your rib cage. It's your diaphragm, as you inhale, it's pressing down on your internal organs. So you, as you inhale, you feel that pushing down and feel the resistance of your internal organs to that, to that muscular force of the diaphragm pushing down. It's filling up your lungs, but it, right now we're just focusing on the effect of that, and at the same time, lift up lightly on your perineum. It's kind of like uh, the same way you would be like if you're, you know, trying to prevent yourself from, from you know, holding your holding your urine. You're just trying to hold it, hold it back there, and this closes this completes the circuit there at the uh, 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 for the uh, renma and the duma at the anus. So we lift there and, and um, so what that does, so as you inhale, you're gonna feel that pressing down and at the same time, you wanna feel the perineum between your leg, between your, your uh, genitals and your anus and you wanna feel those two coming together. So do that for a count of three. You inhale and just feel yourself pressing down and then hold for a count of three. So inhale, then hold for a count of three and feel that lifting there at the perineum and then exhale for a count of three and hold for a count of three. 
Inhale for count of three. And feel that diaphragm pressing down. Hold for a count of three. Exhale for a count of three. Hold for a count of three. So continue to do that for a few more breaths. Good. So that deep diaphragmatic breathing where you're pressing down, that stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the rest and digest part of the automatic autonomic nervous system. And it calms everything down. And this is where we bring the energy in. And so this Lower Dantian is the home, you know, of the parasympathetic. In a sense, it's not really the home, but the uh, you can think of it as as by breathing into that deep diaphragmatic breathing, we are generating that parasympathetic response. We are nurturing the water chi in our bodies very yin. So you can feel yourself getting nice and relaxed in this. So now we're going to address the middle Dantian. And so as we're doing this, what we're going to do is we're going to fill up the lower Dantian and go count of three. We fill it up and then allow the lungs to then fill up and the chest to expand. So before we're just focusing on, on the lower Dantian. Now we're going to fill that up first and then fill up the lungs. And so, you know, so let's just do it for a, a count of three. We just, we breathe into the lower Dantian. And now the middle Dantian and hold. And exhale, the middle, then the lower and hold. Lower, middle. Put your hand on one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest. Exhale and hold. Inhale, feel that lower Dantian. Feel your middle Dantian. Hold. Exhale, middle, exhale, lower, and hold. And continue doing that for a few more breaths. Uh, place the tip of your tongue on the roof of your mouth. So here we're going to connect up the Renma and the Duma by, by placing the tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth, at the same time lifting from the perineum. So let's just do a couple of breaths with that. So we're adding that, that effect. So we're, we're completing the microcosmic orbit when we do this. We're filling up the, uh, the Renma and the Dumar with, with a, lot, a lot of chi and allowing that to circulate quite on its own. And so 
feel, uh, so you're going to feel the uh, lower dantian first, then the middle dantian, tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth, and uh, lifting from the uh, perineum. So breathe in. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Okay, so now we're going to add in the upper dantian. So here we're going to be doing, consciously doing what you, a lot of you have been doing already, which is reaching with the crown, tucking in the chin. But there'll be just a, a little bit extra as you, as you coordinate that with breathing with the other two dantian. So that is you inhale to the belly, the chest, and reach. Tuck in the tuck in the chin and tip of the tongue. So uh, difficult for me to talk while doing all those, but uh, let's uh, let's give it a whirl there. So we're coordinating that. So by reaching with the the uh, crown, tucking in the chin, we open up that jade pillow gate, and we're increasing the the chi flow. And by coordinating the three dantians. All right, there we go. So inhale. Hold. Exhale. Inhale. Reach. Hold. Exhale. Hold. One more. Relax your arms and just breathe naturally. Sink into your heels, feel the yin sinking down, down, down. Very soon, keep the tip of your tongue and the roof of your mouth, reach with that crown. And feel into your upper dantian, feel into your brain, and just notice the activity that's occurring there. As you do this, you get more comfortable with your, with the three dantians, you start to be able to notice and locate brain activity. And as you do that too, then you start to be able to to learn to regulate it. Yeah, step in. Take a deep breath. And the balls of your feet, and then sink into your heels. And disappear the chi. Great. Please have a seat.
How do we do? Good. Well, so the, uh, you know, the idea to be, to be able to do that anytime, any place. You would just sit there right now and just take a cycle of breaths like that, connect the dots, and, you know, every time you do it, it becomes more familiar. It becomes just part of who you are. And, uh, you know, yet another thing to do 100 times a day. Um, what does it take to take a breath, right? It's like, you know, <laughs> like just connect the dots. And doing so gets you so familiar with the, uh, with the process that, you know, it's not, it's not a big deal to go into a super conscious state. Yeah, you have something, Lynn? Just uh, actually kind of a pragmatic question. I mean, I could definitely feel the energy in my upper dantian um, differently than I normally do. Um, but when you just for like practicing for the breathing um, in my, you know, 98th time for the day, uh, do I do each time am I pulling up on the perineum and then letting it go as I'm exhaling or am I pulling up and keeping it up as I keep moving up and just and just keep that held. I like to pulse myself. Okay. Okay. I like That's I like to lift but... lift and release, lift and release. Because uh otherwise you you're trying to set up a machine to do it for you, you know, and and uh you know it uh, the mind gets bored with that. Whereas it uh if it's a uh, you know every time you if every time you lift it on the perineum, you feel this, you know, happy juice, <laughs> then it uh, there is a reward for doing it. You know, right. whereas if it just gets locked in there, it's like it's less less fun. Cool. Yeah, that makes sense to me. That's what I was doing. I just want to make sure. Great. Yeah, that's the way I do it. Make yeah, Richard. Um I seem to make the centers more tangible when I feel that the energy is spinning. Um, what do you mean by spinning? The energy is always going like this. In my Don and Dantian, middle Dantian, upper Dantian. Okay. Oh wow! Okay. Um, I think it's it's left over from early meditation days when that was. Uh, common for me okay and it just feel it just makes it feel comfortable and and tangible to me more tangible i think it's a great idea i think ha ha having a focal point there is um is a good idea and as you know as you're doing it on your own 100 times a day you get to play with all those different all those different <laughs> ideas like you know those focusing on a particular spot you know, for uh, for one cycle of breaths, you know, lower Dantian or my uh, Niwan Gong, you know. And so it, uh, so yes, I think it's a, it's a great idea. I, <laughs> I thought everybody felt like that. I, I personally don't spin, but I, I've heard people who do. So uh, uh, I, I don't know if it's a, I don't know. It's a, it's I don't a, know what I'm missing. <laughs> it's a habit. It's not. It's not. It's not essential. But I, at one at one time, I thought it was essential. It's not. Not so much. But I think okay. it, for me, it's a habit. Yeah. Okay. I I, I don't I don't spin. I've I've heard people doing that. You know, spinning their energy in their dantian and and, and uh, I think there's thousands of ways to do this these these things. You know, and right. I've just given you a simple one that. It's real easy to remember. It's easy to do anytime. It doesn't require any apparatus or any preparation. You don't need a, you know, uh, meditation cushion or anything. You can do it driving a car. So it's not, uh, you, it's not a, uh, 
it's simple and it's it's repeatable and I like it that way. And uh, but there are lots of directions you can go and and I'd be very interested to hear people have some cool stuff that they discover and embellishments that they've uh, that they want to share with uh, with everybody else as they go along. But Scott, that, you had some. Well, what I was just going to say, what what we did uh, really sort of lit me up. Uh, thank thank you. That was very oh, good. Good, it lit me up too. So I'm glad glad to hear it. Glad to hear the uh, that it did for you too. Scott, <laughs> so it's so I'm. It seems like I can just focus on just focus on the the lower, the middle, and the upper. If I do them, you know. Focus on the lower, focus on the middle, focus on the upper. I pretty much am getting all the benefits of the great of everything else. Yeah. Uh, absolutely, and that and and that is that is the direction we're we're heading with it. But it's also not a bad thing to to do, use the breathing as well, just because you're you're consciously controlling your autonomic nervous system, which is. Any time we invest in that, I think is is time well spent, because it's there. There will be situations are which are out of your control, and your autonomic nervous system is going to go bonkers. And just being able to have that experience there, that that wealth of of uh, of time in that will give you uh, you know more more to play with. But uh, what you're saying there is, I agree. That's a you can you can learn to just just focus on them and and you can get a lot of juice. Yep, a lot of juice. That's good, terrific. Okay, anybody else? Great. Thank you all so much. It's been great. Okay, love you. Bye bye. Thank you guys. Thanks, Brandon. No, no class next week. Bye. No class next week. No class week. next week. Happy holidays. Uh, Happy holidays. Happy holidays. We'll pick it up uh, on the other side of uh, January. So uh, happy new year! Happy new year! Happy new year! Great! Bye bye! Bye bye! Thank you. Love you. Bye bye.